Romans chapter 9. I say the truth in anointed, I lie not, my conscience bearing witness with me in Holy Spirit, that I have great sorrow and unceasing pain in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were devoted to destruction from the anointed for my brother's sake, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Yisraelim, whose is the sonship and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom is the anointed, as concerning the flesh, the God being over all, being blessed into the eons. Amen. But it is not as though the word of the God hath come to naught, for they are not all Yisrael that are of Yisrael, neither because they are Abraham's seed are they all children, but in Yitzhak shall thy seed be called. That is, it is not the children of the flesh that are children of the God, but the children of the promise are reckoned for seed. For the, for the word of promise is this, According to this time I will come, and for Sharrah a son shall be. And not only so, but Rubqa also having conceived by one, even by our father Yishak, for the children being not yet born, neither having done anything good or bad, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works but of him that calleth, it was said to her, The older shall serve the younger, even as it is written, Yaqob I loved, but Eshaw I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the God? Khalila, not so. For he saith to Moshe, I will mercy whom I would be mercying, and I will compassion whom I would be compassioning. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the God having mercy. For the scripture saith to Paro, For this very purpose did I raise thee up, that I might show in thee my power, and that my name might be published abroad in all the earth. So then he hath mercy on whom he will, and whom he will, whom he will he hardeneth. Thou wilt say then to me, why doth he still find fault? For who withstandeth his will? Nay, but, O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why didst thou make me thus? Or hath not the potter a right over the clay, from the same lump, to make one part a vessel to honour, and another to dishonour? What if the God, willing to show the wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory upon vessels of mercy, which he afore prepared to glory, even us whom he also called, not from the Yehudim only, but also from the nations? And as he saith also in Hoshea, I will call that my people which was not my people, and her beloved that was not beloved. And it shall be that in the place where it was said to them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called sons of a God who is living. And Yeshayahu crieth concerning Yisrael, If the number of the children of Yisrael be as the sand of the sea, it is the remnant that shall be saved. For Lord Yahweh will execute his word upon the earth, finishing it and cutting it short. And as Yeshayahu hath said before, 
Except Lord Yahweh of hosts, Lord Yahweh of Shabaoth had left us a seed. We had become as Sodom and had been made like Gomorrah. What shall we say then? That the nations who followed not after righteousness attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. But Yisrael following after a law of righteousness did not arrive at that law. For what reason? Because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by works. They stumbled at the stone of stumbling. Even as it is written, Behold, I lay in Theon, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offence, and he that believeth on him shall not be put to shame.